What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. It's that time of the year again. There has been a ton of updates on OBS. I'm making this video for new, returning, old, young, every kind of streamer. Uh, we're going to be going over how to set up OBS to stream on Twitch, YouTube, whatever it is that you want to stream on from start to finish. It's going to be a full walkthrough as fast as I possibly can on how to set the program up from nothing to streaming. But before we do that, guys, let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Own.TV. Own.TV is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover. But let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics. Don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, so here we are. This is my OBS. I'm sharing my display with you guys and hopefully we can get this done in a short enough amount of time so that it's not a super long video. So the first step to setting up OBS is going to settings down in the bottom right hand corner here and that is going to open up our settings panel. You can see this clearly because I've put my camera off to the left side. Perfect. I'm going to run through each of these tabs. I may skip over some things that I find irrelevant uh, or that I feel like you don't need to know just to get started with streaming. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, this is going to be a more simplified tutorial on just how to get people going, you know, really, really quick, get you up, up and online and streaming as fast as possible. So we go to settings and in our first tab here under the general tab, we have a few things. We have language, uh, mine is set to English. You can choose your theme that you want OBS to be in. You can choose whatever you want here. This is the dark theme. I kind of like this new Yami theme. Uh, I think it's very modern looking and nice and the text pops off the colored backgrounds and all that. I love it. Um, so under this tab, nothing super important. You can have it automatically check for updates on startup, which I leave up uh, just because if there is an OBS update, you know, you do want to get that update as soon as you open the program. Uh, other than that, nothing in here is going to affect your stream uh, significantly. So what we can do is completely skip the rest of that tab. Let's head over to the streaming tab. Now this tab, a little bit more important. This is where you're going to select your streaming service, right? So if you're streaming on Twitch, this is where you select Twitch. If you're streaming on YouTube, this is where you're going to select YouTube. So right here, I'm streaming on Twitch. So I have my service selected as Twitch. Uh, the server that you want to use to stream to, you're going to have that set to auto. And right here, I have my Twitch account connected. Uh, but if you're just setting this up for the first time, you're going to be able to connect to your account uh, and log into your Twitch account or your YouTube account, whatever it may be. Uh, right here, it says disconnect account for me just because my account um, is currently connected. It's already connected. Other than that, we can leave the rest of this stuff alone and head on over to the output tab. Another important tab here. So in the output tab, this is where we're going to, um, you know, finagle with most of the settings for our stream. So output tab under the streaming tab here, you may want to come up to the top under the output mode um, and select advanced. Uh, it should be on simple when you first start it up. Change it to advanced uh, so that we can mess with some settings in here. So under the streaming tab, we're going to come down here. Um, and we are going to the first super important thing here is we're going to look at our encoder. Uh, if you're using a 10 series or higher NVIDIA GPU, I suggest using the NVENC H.264 encoder like I'm using here. If not, you can use X264, which will use your processor instead of your graphics card. Um, but if you do have this option, I will always suggest using this option. It's a lot less demanding on your PC's resources. Your frames will be higher in games um, and overall streaming will impact the performance of your PC a lot less if you use this option. So. NVIDIA NVENC H.264 selected. Do not touch rescale output. Come down here to encoder settings. We want to set this to CBR um, and your bitrate is going to be determined by the resolution of your stream. Uh, so I'm streaming on Twitch at 1080p 60 FPS and I have messed around with this quite a bit and found that 8K bitrate is 
the sweet spot for me where everything looks pretty clear and I have no issues. Uh, if you're streaming at 1080 at 30 FPS, you can drop that down to 6K, no problem. Uh, even 1080p 60 FPS looks fine at 6K. Scrolling down, we have keyframe interval. We want to set that to two seconds preset. I have mine on max quality. However, if you're getting a little bit of stuttering or your PC seems to be lagging a little bit, uh, you can drop it down to quality or even performance. They both still look pretty good. Uh, profile, I have mine set to high. Look ahead, checked. Cycle visual tuning, checked. GPU set to zero and max B frames set to two. Next, we're going to head over to the audio tab. This is where we're going to be able to mess with our audio settings. So for general purposes, you want to have your sample rate set to 48 kilohertz, your channel set to stereo, so you don't get some weird uh, mono uh, sound, your global audio devices. So here is where you're going to be able to, if you don't have a Go XLR, this is a little bit more important for you. So this is where you're going to be able to select your microphone. So what you would do is hit this drop down and select your microphone from the mic auxiliary. Uh, tracks and then the desktop audio you'd probably want to have this set to default if you're using headphones or speakers whatever you normally use you can just leave that set to default um, and that should pick up your audio from your pc you know any game you're playing or anything like that um, i have a lot of tutorials on like more in-depth audio setup uh, for obs if you want to check them out on the channel but for general setup purposes set your desktop audio to default select your microphone under mic auxiliary and you should be good to go there. We're going to head over to the video tab. Another pretty important tab here. So in the video tab, this is where we're going to set our resolution of our stream. Under the base canvas resolution, uh, I'm gaming in 1920 by 1080 at 240 hertz. So what I do is select 1920 by 1080 because that is the monitor that I am using. That's what I'm gaming at. And then the output scaled resolution is going to be what you want your stream to be output as, right? So I'm streaming in 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. So for me, I select 1920 by 1080, no issues there but you can play in 1920 by 1080 and then stream in let's say 720. All you would do was change your output scaled resolution here to 1280 by 720. And that means that now you're playing in 1080p, but your stream will be in 720p. And for people with a little bit less powerful PCs or a little bit slower internet, this may be the better option for you. Downscale filter, um, resolutions match, no downscaling required. That's gonna be just default. Common FPS values. This is where you'll set the FPS of your stream. Like I said, I'm doing 60 FPS. So I have 60 in there. If you're doing 30, you can do 30, 48. You can put that in there as well. No issues whatsoever. Very, very simple. Next tab over here on the left, guys, we have hotkeys. If you don't have a stream deck or any kind of uh, hardware that allows you to basically map buttons to, you know, perform actions within OBS, this is where you're going to have a lot of fun because there is a hotkey for every function in OBS, um, but basically you can bind keys like, you know, using key binds in setting up, you know, game key binds. Same idea here. You can bind keys on your keyboard um, to do certain actions within OBS. Very cool tab here. Um, I don't really use this uh, strictly because I have a stream deck uh, that I use for this stuff. But if you don't have a stream deck, this tab is extremely useful. You can browse through here. There's a ton of things that you can map to keys uh, to just have easy access while you're streaming. Accessibility, don't have to do anything within this tab. And under the advanced tab, right here, you do want to have your process priority set to normal. You don't want to go any higher than that. Uh, normal seems to be pretty solid. You don't want OBS to be pulling too many resources from your PC. All of this stuff should be this exact settings that I have here. Uh, if it is changed, I would change it to this here. Um, and you can also add a stream delay. Let's say you're getting stream sniped or you just want there to be like a significant, you know, 60 second delay. You can enable a stream delay here, put your custom duration in and it will work. Uh, I do suggest having automatically reconnect enabled um, strictly because if you have some internet issues, it won't cancel your entire stream and take it offline. It'll keep trying to reconnect. Uh, your viewers won't get kicked out. Um, um, all around good feature to just have enabled in my opinion and everything else under here I would not worry about. So those are the basics of setting up OBS uh, from scratch. Very simple tutorial guys, but this is meant to help people who are just getting started, who just want to get going with streaming. Uh, I don't want to confuse anyone. I don't want to dive too deep into this. I have more in-depth videos on my channel. If you want to get a little bit more in-depth with your settings, uh, with audio and video and key binds and things like that. But for the purposes of this video, this is for people just jumping into this, wanting to set it up for the first time. I wanted to make it as simple as possible and, you know, by the end of this video, I wanted you to be able to basically hit start streaming, 
and go live. Um, and I think we accomplished that here, guys. So if I did help you, uh, hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And drop some comments down below. Let me know if you guys need any more help. Uh, let me know some new videos that you guys want to see. I mean, I, I'm trying to brainstorm a lot of things for this fall. I got a lot of ideas. Um, but yeah, I'm always open to new suggestions. If you guys want to see videos on specific topics or items or whatever, drop the comments down below. And I, uh, I skim through them at least once a week. And I will try to do my best to respond to all of them. But uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you guys want to hang out with me live, I stream on Twitch Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash hammerdance. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.